Okay, so I did my project um, on the Elliott Wave Principle, which is a form of technical analysis, which is how you study financial markets. Like, I'm, this is gonna be like a very rough drawing, but this is kind of the basic principle. Any number them here. Maybe this is very interesting stuff. Okay, so basically with the Elliott Wave Principle, um, when you look, does everyone know what financial markets look like? Like the stock, like a stock chart would look like, basically, you know? <laughs> like this is Google. Let's just say it's Google. And at the bottom right is Blockbuster. Yes. <laughs> um, and so what this is, what this states is it relates ratios like the golden ratio 1.618 to patterns that are sometimes found in certain stocks and commodities and markets. And the theory is that you can find patterns within the market to make money or you can somehow predict the market. Um, and I'm going to get into that now. So this, these are all called waves right here. Even the down ones are called waves. Um, and with wave one, it's not entirely obvious that this pattern is starting because it's, it's very small. And then there's usually, um, after that, a small correction, which is wave two. And then after that, um, it goes back up, which is wave three. Now, what makes this pattern relate to the golden ratio is that between point one and point three, it will increase by ratio of 1.618. Um, and that's usually a good indicator that this is, you can predict what the rest of the market is going to do. Um, and with this pattern, after wave three, it goes back down. And then after wave five, it finally goes back up for like a final run, so to speak. This is called um, being bullish. Like when waves one through five, when it's gradually going up, the stock is bullish. It means that people think, and there's signs that indicate that the stock is going to go up in price. Um, but then once you reach wave five, waves A, B, and C start. Um, wave A is a major correction from wave five, and then B is a small correction upwards. And finally, wave C is the final downturn in which this pattern ends. Uh, between waves A and C, there's a ratio of also 1.618, or P, between um, these two points. Now, it's, it's kind of difficult to, if you see on the uh, handout that I, I gave, to give a good or an accurate um, assessment of whether this is really what's happening in a certain market. You have to kind of just guess, I guess, and look at, like, you can look at prices from wave one, like wave one price to wave three price, and then if it has that ratio, then it's an indicator, you know, and then between waves A and C, and that's also an indicator. Um, let's see here. Also, financial markets are a form of fractals. Um, there's an example that I showed you on the handout there, but this is basically found throughout the entirety of the stock, but in smaller forms. So if this is like, like over a month time, a month's time, then over a year's time, how it would be a fractal is it would look like it would look it would keep the same pattern. However, it would be smaller versions of this with within like smaller time frames. If I'm explaining that correctly, it's hard to it's kind of difficult to explain it, but. Um, it's just like a smaller version of the larger picture, which is kind of how stocks go. Because, you know, stocks can go up for, you know, a month and they can have an upturn of like this, but they can also go up and down and stuff. And then, but this could be a year's time and it's still, the whole point is it's going up and it keeps the same pattern. And that's how it is representative of fractals. Um, 
this theory actually goes through a lot of um, stipulation whether it's real. It can, is this true? Can you really apply this and make money? Um, and it is a respectable theory, and a lot of people use it in technical analysis, and um, people like Morningstar, who do stock reviews, you sometimes use the Elliott Wave principle um, to determine if the stock is going to keep this certain pattern or not. Uh, but when it comes down to the end of the day, there's something called the random walk theory, and that states basically that um, although the market is not entirely efficient, meaning that it doesn't reflect all the information that's already out there, um, it reflects most of it. And the only way to beat the stock market is to have knowledge that someone else does not presently have. Like if you're in a company that is about to go bankrupt or their, financial, their financials are not looking too good, um, but no one else would know that because you're in the, you know, stuck in the middle of the company and that information isn't made public. So a lot of people say that, that you can't really use this to make money because it's just, it's all random. Um, that's why they call it the random walk theory. But uh, the Elliott Wave principle is based off of these ratios and if you look at them, then maybe you can make money, maybe you can't. But the whole point is that um, the stock market very much is, in and of itself, a fractal. And there are certain patterns found within human behavior um, that's reflected in the stock market that sometimes people think that they can make money by using this principle. And I don't really have a lot of numbers uh, because it's just kind of a principle. You have to look at different stocks. You have to take different prices into account. And then, like, so it, it's just very much a principle. Um, any questions? I totally wasn't read, like, super prepared to, like, go first, but this is basically what it is. <laughs> did you do, like, a bunch of different company applications, or did you just, like, look at one main company? Or do you just, like, did you look at one company's stocks, or did you just look at the principle itself? Or did you look at applications in other companies? Um, you mean in, in how they relate to the Elliott Wave principle? Yeah, like the... Um, well, not all stocks necessarily hold this pattern. Um, it's just, um, it's random. Like, that's how you, that's why you look at waves one, and then you look at wave, like wave one, two, and three, and then you say, hey, there's a pattern going on here. It's strong, it's going up, it's bullish, it's based off of this ratio um, of which it's increasing, and then you kind of get an idea. You can look at different companies and different stocks and commodities. It's not based off of just stocks. You can look at the price of gold, the price of silver, the price of oranges, um, and there's other things that impact the market that can't be, you know, predicted using this method, like 9-11, natural disasters, you know, bailouts, um, debt. But I don't know if that really answered your question. I wasn't really sure what your question was, to be honest with you. But. Um, have you, uh, are you involved in the stock market and have you actually tried to use this for yourself and see if well, you were successful? Well, um, I'm a finance and accounting major, and I did this because I'm very much interested in the stock market. It's, it's something that I like, it's something that I enjoy. Um, this is something that is very difficult to apply on an individual basis unless you have uh, the tools to you know, apply this. There's a lot of various things that go into figuring this out. You don't just look at this pattern and say, oh, well, this looks kind of like the you know, you know, the Blue Ridge Mountains, and therefore it's going to go up, you know. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. So personally, I haven't really looked at it, but I did pass around the handout of something that I, that I thought kind of resembled a, the Elliott Wave pattern, or theories pattern. I haven't made money off of it personally. I don't think you can make money off of it personally. I think that it's just a cool concept, and it's just a way to relate fractals and golden ratios and nature of math, the stuff I like, so. Um, <laughs> I haven't made money, some people say that they have, but it could, it could just be luck, you know? Like, some people say that you can put a dartboard, fill it up with a bunch of stocks, throw a dart, it'll land on a stock, buy the stock, you have kind of like a chance of, you know, that it, it might go up or might not, based off different factors, of course, but. So, I don't know, it's, it's not entirely reliable. I wouldn't use it myself. There's, it's, it's very, very technical. 
this is like the most simplified version that anyone can give to you um, for the Elliott wave theory because there's just a lot that goes into it. Um, there's a whole, there are books written on it, there are people who, you know, dedicate their entire field of study and life to, you know, figure this out and I'm just doing a five minute presentation on it. <laughs> Any more questions? Buy mutual funds. <laughs> <laughs> Diversify your portfolio. <laughs>